Okay, back up at the top with Abigail. This time, uh, we will take the right path. Uh, not right as in correct, uh, but right as in to the right. And oh, I thought there would be an item. I should just use my dowsing. I should just use my dowsing app. I should just use my dowsing app. I know it. I know it. You know it. We, we all know it. Oh, this, this guy says, And when I toss a coin, you calls it. Heads, we battle. Tails, we battle. Now, how will this play out, my friend? Oh, sounds like a man of mis mystery and intrigue. Oh, look at that. We are challenged by Pi Carlos. Uh, yeah, he just says Pi for his first name because, uh, you know, it's infinite letters. He wouldn't be able to spell it out for you. Actually, okay, P.I. Carlos. Uh, so, well, looky here. He's got himself a gold Dean on level 30, so that seems kind of threatening. Um, but, uh, I mean, it doesn't seem threatening. But while Goldeen does not seem to be entirely threatening, these, uh, you know, this trainer class, the PIs, uh, have little tricks up their sleeve, uh, as most PIs do. So right now it's just using Flail, uh, which isn't too much of a big deal. Uh, that's not what I'm actually concerned about. But um, I believe, and this might be later on only, but um, PIs, you know, they, he's got the coin flip motif going on. Uh, these guys like to use one-hit KO moves. So basically, you're gonna come across one of these guys, you're gonna be having a nice little battle, and all of a sudden, the coin comes up tails, and I like it. Uh, but, uh, so, that guy, he totally threw, threw off threw off my vibe, man. Uh, but P.I. Carlos over here, if you could run into a P.I., uh, they'll send out a seemingly innocuous Pokemon, and then they will hit you with a one-hit KO move. So like that Goldeen, it could learn Horn Drill. Uh, and he'll he'll use it too. And there's a 30% chance it's gonna hit, and it's gonna ruin your day. So uh, have fun with that information. Autumn had had uh, his debut, but I think we can uh, run him a little little bit further now. Uh, now that he's a gastrodon, a noble gastrodon. Oh, what's that? What, what's up with this music every time there's a collect or something? You say you have a Pokedex, an authentic one. Oh God, can I see it? Hey, you got you got a Pokedex on your phone, and a collector. Wow. Okay, collector Brady actually seems to be a collector. <laughs> Look, you see that little thing just spaz out when it came out of its Pokeball. It was like, <laughs> oh man, that's so cute. Okay, say hello to Scaroopy. Scaroopy's a cute little guy over here. He is the I think he's Poison Bug type. Uh, but by Scaroopy, I guess we'll we'll never know. Uh, yeah, so, I, I just love that little animation when he came out. And Tropius, oh my goodness, say it ain't so. Uh, we're gonna send Warbeak out for that. So, Tropius is a Pokemon we have not seen thus far, uh, unless you've played Generation 3. Because you ain't forgetting the Brontosaurus with bananas on its chin, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> Tropius is a very unique Pokemon, as you can clearly see. Uh, it is a grass flying type Pokemon. Uh, it's pretty bulky. Uh, I it's weird though, I think they're able to utilize Tropius a little bit better now that there's the physical special split here in Gen 4. Um, so if you want to try it out with a unique type, I can't say it's very good. Uh, it doesn't have an evolution or anything. It's a really cool, unique Pokemon that I think a lot of people forget about um, until they see it again and they're like, oh my gosh, I forgot that thing existed. Um, but yeah, so if you really want a Tropius, uh, I say try it out just for the novelty of it. Uh, oh, and here we go, another Pokemon we haven't seen thus far. This guy is spoiling all the Pokemon we're going to be coming up to, uh, which which is fine. Uh, but this is Carnivine. You may know Carnivine, uh, pure grass type. You don't see too many of those. Um, so it has less weaknesses than the majority of grass type Pokemon who have dual types. Uh, but Carnivine, famously one of James's Pokemon in the anime series, uh, it is... I, it's it's just not a good Pokemon. It is painfully average in just about everything, and there's nothing unique about the Pokemon. It doesn't get any, like, special moves or special abilities. It's just Carnivine, so... Yeah, um, I can't really recommend it. Uh, and say hello once again to Krogunk, the giggity giggity Krogunk. And uh, we can take this thing out with an Aerial Ace. I don't think it's going to be surviving that. We know all about Krogunks. Too easy. Get out of here. But this guy seems to have gone uh, into a very particular place to collect all of these Pokemon, I must say. Uh, and we will get to that in a little bit. But last but not least, I, I believe, he is going to be sending out Yanma. 
another Pokemon we have not seen thus far. Ooh. Actually, we might have seen a Yanma before. Um, but regardless, um, I guess we'll just go over it. Anyway. We're on a roll here, so we may as well. Yanma. Uh, the place. Did I get predicted? Hey, say hello to Tangela, or Tangela, as uh, a lot of people misread it. Uh, Tangela, grass, solid grass-type Pokemon, I say as I take it out in one hit. Um, it's not on screen anymore, so it's like, you know, why bother? Uh, but Tangela is a, another Pokemon that gets a Gen 4 evolution. So if you have Ancient Power on it and you level it up, it will evolve into Tangrowth, which is way, way better than Tangela. It is a solid, bulky grass-type Pokemon. Pure grass type, again, doesn't suffer from the, you know, extraneous weaknesses. And if you want a cool grass type on your team that screams Gen 4, T Tangrowth is, Tangrowth's your guy, let me tell you. Uh, thank you, Yanma, for coming back out. So, Yanma, you probably remember from Generation 2 in the Johto region. But, once again, uh, adding to the supremely long list of Pokemon in Gen 4 that get evolutions, Yanma is one of those. So, uh, once again, Ancient Power... Level it up, it evolves into Yan Mega, which is actually an incredibly good, one of the best bug type Pokemon I think ever created, period. Um, its special attack is off the charts and it gets a bunch of great moves. So if you're still looking for a bug type or if you like, you know, a flying type, I don't think it can learn fly, um, but if you want it for strategic purposes, I, I say go for it. All right, I mean, that guy was a true collector. Oh, a little kid like you is going to teach me about Pokemon? <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Devin? Oh my goodness. Uh, probably not, because I, I, I don't know. I, I can't even talk right now. Uh, but she's got herself a Wormadam, uh, which is a hilarious name. My goodness. Wormadam. Uh one of those things when you're a kid you can kind of get away with saying a you know a semi swear word uh, without you know actually swearing but as you can see this one is the uh, field the outdoorsy form uh, so she must have battled out here in the field last time with this warm dam but an aerial ace should make quick work of this bug grass is not a good combination against war beak here let me tell you let me tell you uh, some decent experience points from that thing though and oh well, her next Pokemon is Wormadam. And uh, she sends it out, and it is the, uh, looks like it's the rock desert one. I don't know exactly what the name is. Uh, this is the one, I believe, uh, if you if you battled in a cave. Yes, I believe that's a cave. It's part ground type. It'll take the aerial ace a little bit better, but it's still part bug, so it's not gonna get over that. And it can't hit me with any ground type moves, so I'm not super concerned about it. And, Warbeak's just too good, let me tell you. You know, it kind of looks like... Man, I wish I would have brought this up earlier. It kind of looks like a piece of pizza. Like, at the top, those little things, they look... The rocks on the top, they look like a crust. And then, uh, it looks like it... You know, it's a triangle, and it has pepperonis, like... Ooh. And, last but not least, you guessed it, it's Wormadam, which I do not give a Wormadam bout. Because we have Zuko. We're gonna throw out Zuko here. Obviously, the last Wormadam is gonna be Wormadam Trash, which is the only Wormadam I ever remember the name of, because that's absolutely hilarious. Um, maybe that last one was Trash. Huh. I don't like. I claim to be a Pokemaniac, not a Wormadam maniac. Sometimes the information gets all mishmashed in my head. I can only keep so much knowledge in my brain at one given point in time, uh, and. Some of that knowledge right there is that there are three different Wormadams and they're all weak to fire. So, ah, that's all I need to know about these Wormadams. All right. Oh, so close. And with that, Devin. Wow, is that right? Yeah. So, see, she was listening. I totally fumbled the bag on that one. I, 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 I gotta go. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I embarrassed myself in front of Devin. And she was a beauty. All right, maybe this this uh, psychic will make me feel better. Mm, I'd sense the presence of a trainer for a while. It was you. Okay, buddy. Like you, any, you can just say that about anyone who runs by. And what if you were wrong? What if I wasn't a trainer, huh, Mitchell? And uh, oh well, hello. It, it's not a psychic, but it, I guess, tangentially related. Uh, it's a Dust Skull. Oh, love Dust Skull. Even though you know some of these Pokemon gave us a hard time in the Heart Home Gym, uh, I just. Oh, how can you be mad at that thing? Look at him! 
He's got the skull face and he's, you know, holding his arms behind his back. Like, ugh, so cute. I do. I, I, I really like this Pokemon. And yeah, actually, back in... Jeez, back in Gen 5. When Gen 5 uh, uh, competitive uh, was the scene, um, I actually used an Eviolite Dusclops and I, uh, I wrecked shop with that thing. Um, because no one could kill it. Like, they, they just couldn't do it. And then I would uh, status them, I'd Will-O-Wisp them, and then I would... Uh, um, hit them with the, uh, uh, Nightshade. Nightshade, not Seismic Toss. Nightshade. Uh, so, level 100, doing 100 damage each turn. You weren't killing that thing. Uh, it was a pretty good, pretty good overall deal. Uh, Intimidate's not gonna do anything against this Kadabra, but I feel like an Aerial Ace, uh, will kill this thing. Uh, lickety split. Look at that, oh, look at that mustache, too. I, dude, what product do you use to keep your mustache so shiny like that, bro? All right. Yeah, take that, Mitchell. Defeating you will be no easy matter. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, you, you didn't. Arrogant. But moving right along, uh, not a whole heck of a lot of trainers left. And as we saw, there's that item over here to our left. But I suppose before we grab that, we can finish. I had to get real close to this guy. For the sake of my collection, I take on people I know I can't beat. That's what a collector does. You know what? I admire the conviction. Collect Douglas. Douglas, I admire that. And Oh, hello! Okay, so we've been over these Pokemon before, but we have not actually uh, seen them before. Say hello to Jolteon. Jolteon is one of the seven, currently, evolved forms, uh, well, currently as in Gen 4, uh, of Eevee. So if you used a Thunderstone, you would be... Uh, you'd have this Pokemon with you. Now, Jolteon, superb electric-type Pokemon. Has been since Gen 1. Uh, been there since day 1, I'll tell you what. And it does more than sand attack. I mean, it probably can't against Autumn. Uh, but super high special attack, and it is super, super fast. This thing's going to be outspeeding nearly any opponent you come up against. Uh, except for, like, maybe, like, one more electric-type. But Jolteon, super fast, great special attack. Can't recommend it enough if you want an electric-type. And you get that Eevee for free from uh, BB uh, in Heart Home City. So if you got a Thunderstone, you want the uh, Jolteon, I highly recommend it. Up next is, uh, is Vaporeon. Um, so, uh, Vaporeon, we've talked about before. Uh, we also haven't seen it thus far, but uh, Vaporeon. Uh, look at that. Reg how regal. One of my favorite uh, evolutions, Vaporeon is a water type Pokemon. You use the Water Stone on your Eevee, you're gonna get this thing. Once again, super great special attack, and this thing is thick. Uh, great special defense, great HP. Look at that. I mean, uh, this is a hit from Maytag. All right. May I remind you, Maytag was cleaning teams with Thunder Shock, and we're using Shockwave right now, and it did not even one hit KO. Um, but that that's a testament to how good Vaporeon is. Um, Honestly, if there's a default water type you want on your team, it should be Vaporeon. It is so good, um, very useful, and it's not even as slow as a lot of other, like, really chunky walls. Um, so, if you want that as water type, I highly recommend it. Um, we've got Autumn, though, so uh, slot filled. Uh, sorry about that, Vaporeon. And, you guessed it, last but not least, Douglas here has Flareon. Now, Flareon. I would not have recommended it prior to this generation. Even this generation, I think it's a little, it's a little iffy because I don't know if it gets Flare Blitz yet or not. But Flareon had always suffered because it was a fire type that was a physical attacker. So this thing is decently defensive, uh, decently fast, and it has great physical attack. So. Up until this generation, fire was always a special move. So any stab move that it had was on the special side. So it couldn't really utilize that physical attack stat that it had. Up until this generation. Now that there are physical fire type moves, Flareon, I can finally recommend to you. Um, not the best fire type around. Um, as far as evolutions go, I believe Flareon is one of the weakest. But still a good Pokemon and very well designed. So thank you, Douglas. Thank you for that. That attack right then was remarkable. Thank you, Douglas. Um, and I did switch around a lot, so we got to see uh, quite a bit of my collection. And moving right along, we're going to come up here and grab this Big Root! Bigger Root! Uh, Big Root's nice. It 
I believe what it does is it increases the damage of moves like um, Giga Drain and stuff. Uh, oh, I guess we're going... It's got to be at the bottom. Uh, let's see, because this is probably going to be useless to us. Big root. Yep, okay, so it increases the power of HP stealing moves. So that's any of them. So like Leech Life or uh, Drain Punch, which we can't use. Um, but coming down here, we have reached the Valor Lake Lakefront, which is not as cool as it sounds, unfortunately. But, uh, guys, I'm telling you what, this is a... Uh, taken quite a bit of time to travel so i'm gonna have to end it off right here out in the middle of the wilderness when was the last time we did that uh geez i don't even know usually we get to a town or a safe place or a in-between spot uh that's nice but nope we're roughing it on this episode guys so uh we're gonna be ended it off here out in the wild so if you liked what you saw guys smash that subscribe button like dislike whatever you're feeling like and until next time i will catch you later Running, running in the doors. Running, running near some more. Running in, running in the doors. Running in doors. Pokemon 4th Gen.